Hi friends. It's been 10 years since the Presbytery of Baltimore drafted its last strategic plan. The world is evolving and as a Presbytery of 64 congregations and new worshiping communities, we are facing new challenges in all aspects of our lives and our ministries. We must adapt not only to address our current situation, but for the future. So what is God calling the Presbytery of Baltimore to do and to be? At the start of 2022, a strategic planning team was assembled to oversee the establishment of a plan for the Presbytery. By February, consultants were retained to create a process for collecting feedback from our member churches and stakeholders. Over the spring, listening sessions were scheduled for our six ministry groups, facilitated by conveners from each region and supported by Presbytery staff. Aside from our geographically based ministry groups, sessions were also held for Black, Indigenous, and people of color, as well as our LGBTQ church members. Each of the eight focus groups were conducted online, with meeting participants breaking into small groups to discuss specific scripted questions. During these open and candid meetings, extensive notes were taken by designated volunteers. An online survey was also available to those who could not attend any of the scheduled meetings. All feedback was shared with the strategic planning team, which met regularly to assess and evaluate the responses. This information would provide the foundation for our progress and a direction for our future. The core values of the Presbytery of Baltimore are promoting justice, practicing inclusivity, and prioritizing churches and leaders to thrive. Thanks, Marcus. The mission of the Presbytery of Baltimore is to encourage, challenge, support, and equip our leaders and congregations. Thanks, Rob. The vision of the Presbytery of Baltimore is empowering leaders, engaging churches, and embodying justice and inclusivity in the name of Christ. Thanks, Karen. Strategic priority number one is strong, sustainable, resourced congregations. This means we will support our member churches in ways that are responsive to their needs and help their ministries flourish. Thanks, Annette. Strategic priority number two is an inclusive, just organization where all have equal voice and access. You know, one of our favorite hymns sings, let us build a house where all are named, their songs and visions heard. And when we sing this hymn in Baltimore Presbytery, we want it to be more than an aspiration. We want it to be true. Thank you, Sue. Our third strategic priority is an energized, adaptive presbytery ready to witness the movement of the Spirit. We recognize that we are at a time when culture and church is changing before our eyes. Nobody knows for certain what church will be, what ministry will look like years from now. But we are confident that God is moving through it all, that we as the church are being guided by the work of the Spirit. Thanks, Amy. Strategic priority number four is healthy pastors with resources for spiritual, mental, and emotional health. The pandemic has taught us so much about what it means to be church together, and we understand that our leaders need extra support during challenging times. So we are grateful to resource one another, to support one another, and to offer assistance when needed. Thanks, Allison. 
Strategic priority number five is a culture of coaching and learning for clergy and lay leaders. Today's pastors are overextended in this quickly changing world. But as a presbytery, we need to meet these challenges together. That's why it is vital that we dedicate resources and training to prepare, equip, and support our church leaders. 